What is up everyone, Josh's Customs here, back with another Airsoft video. Today we are going to be reviewing the Action Army AAP-01 Assassin. I know this pistol has been out for a while, and a lot of people have review videos on it and unboxing videos on it, but I just wanted to give my little two cents um, on this platform as someone who has worked on the Glock 18 platform for a long time, about over a decade now. Um, and the lower is basically based on the Tokyo Marui Glock 18, which we will be going over a bit later. So without further ado, let's get into the packaging. Um, I got this on blowbackmasters.com on sale for like 70 bucks. I think they're still on sale right now for like 80 bucks. Um, these are the tan versions, but hey, I mean, it's an unbeatable price. The original MSRP, I believe, is around 99 um, and about 110 for the AAP 01C. So super, super great pistols for the money. Um, as you can see, the front packaging, we have the FDE or tan checked off there. And on the back of the box, there's really nothing besides the Action Army um, website link. So let's get into this box. Hold on to the tab and open it up. All right, so they will obviously give you a manual, read before use. Um, and then we have our actual manual AAP-01, all that good stuff. I think it comes in a couple different languages, really cool. Action Army plug in their other products. So now let's get into the meat and potatoes of the actual box, which is the AAP-01 itself. Like I said, this is the tan version. And for around $70, which is what I got this for, like I said, I mean, there's really no beating that. Um, here's the AAP-01. It does come with some rails. Uh, it does have a thread adapter right here. Let's put the gun to the side really quick. Um, we do also get our standard 22 round AAP magazine. Uh, some of these recently have been leaky uh, that I've noticed. I don't know if anybody else shares the same sentiment, but um, I have noticed that some of these has, have been leaky recently. Um, and that is basically everything that you get into inside of the box. So let's take a closer look at the gun. Um, you do get some rail covers, like I said earlier, that you can mount up here. Um, on your pistol, but we won't be taking a look at those right now So here is the AAP-01 Assassin itself It is modeled after a Ruger Mark IV, I believe at least the upper is um, as you can see the Glock inspiration on the lower with the Glock style trigger very standard Glock style, excuse me trigger uh, same spec as Tokyo Marui it does come with a safety, so red is dead, press it over, and it blocks the trigger from, uh, from working. We have our bolt release up front, so hold up our bolt, which is back here, and release our bolt. They all come with fiber optic front sights. I like that they do the green in the back and red in the front, which is how it should be. Um, the gun itself is actually... <laughs> It looks pretty boring when you get it out of the box. Um, the thing I do love about the AAP-01 platform is there is a lot of customization that can be done to it. Uh, there are lots of great parts out right now. Um, there are also a lot of, let's just say shaky parts, like from Cow Cow and some of the original CTM parts. Eh. Um, but I'm glad to see that CTM has stepped up their game and then companies like Next Speed are releasing some really cool stuff like their AAP-01 hop-up unit. So the AAP is continually evolving and I really, really love that. Let's take the upper apart from the lower so I can show you a little bit of the internals of the gun. So here we have our bolt. You move back and forth like this. Um, we have our auto sear, not necessarily auto sear, but auto selector, excuse me. So if you have it to the right, it's full auto. Push it to the left, it's semi. So that is our selector, not our sear. Our full auto sear is in our lower, which is right here. Um, we will get to that later. So we have our nozzle, our piston head inside, our hop-up unit. The Action Army AAP-01 hop-up unit stock are actually really good. So are their barrels. 
This comes with a 129 millimeter inner barrel. That's like, I believe a 601. Um, so there's actually really, really good inner barrels and you'll get really great performance out of the box with this AAP. Um, there are tons of disassembly videos on YouTube, so you can check them out. And I might make, make, uh, may make one down the line, but basically you can take off these two screws, pull the bolts out, remove these two screws, pull the front out. There'll be two more screws, so you can remove the hop-up unit and disassemble further from there. We'll put our lower, or excuse me, our upper aside and get to our lower. So those of you who are familiar with Tokyo Marui Glock lowers, this part back here is gonna look really, really familiar because it's basically the same design as the Tokyo Marui Glock 18C. Just a different chassis, obviously. So as you can see, we have our hammer, triangular style rotor, which I am not a huge fan of. I prefer the ball bearing style, auto sear, we have our primary sear inside of the housing, which you can't really see. Spring, valve knocker, and then here we have our valve knocker disconnector. Let me show you really quick. I have a couple of examples of other lowers just to show you how similar this is to Glock. So here is a lower of my WE Glock 26, which is modeled after the Tokyo Marui Glock 18C. And as you guys can see, the design is almost identical. It basically is identical. Obviously the auto sear looks a little bit different and I have a ball bearing style rotor here on this WE, but same gist. I will also show you my Tokyo Marui Glock 18C. So here is my TM Glock 18C. Uh, this has been heavily upgraded, so it's not stock whatsoever but take the slide off. As you guys can see, that system is the exact same. We have our full auto sear, hammer. Obviously I have the bearing style rotor on my 18C. This is the conventional triangular style rotor, but same difference. Um, like I said, the triangular style is just a bit smoother, but the AAP is very finicky. The Glocks like the eight millimeter ones and the AAP like the nine millimeter ones. Um, but we also have our valve knocker disconnectors here, valve knockers inside, and then the primary sears inside. Basically the same exact function. Hold down the triggers of both. Boom, boom. Same function of these hammer systems, which is really, really cool. And as somebody who loves the Tokyo Marui Glock 18C, it is great to see kind of an evolution of that system and a bit of an improvement. Um, with that being said, we are going to put this AAP back together. I'm gonna to get some chrono results for you guys. And then we will go into the final thoughts of this video. All right, guys, we're gonna get some chrono numbers, the 0 0.3 gram BBs. 297. That's really great out of a stock pistol. Like I said, it has a 129 millimeter inner barrel. So I'm not too surprised with the FPS ratings, but you're for sure not gonna get that out of a stock high kappa. Let's see if we can capture some full auto here. In conclusion, I think the Action Army AAP-01 and AAP-01C are amazing, amazing pistols for the price. The only real gripe that I have with the gun um, is the hammer will break uh, varyingly, sometimes within the first couple hundred rounds, sometimes within the first uh, thousand rounds, but you are gonna have to replace this and potentially your auto sear um, as you go on with your AAP. You're also going to want to keep your nozzle and bolt lubricated to prevent cracks in the nozzle. Um, and obviously your AAP's bolt is going to be moving a lot, so you want to keep it well lubricated. Other than that, the AAP-01 is one of my favorite pistols in Airsoft and definitely a great addition to the GVP lineup. 
Um, I believe like it came out in 2019 or 2020, but ever since then, it has been a welcome, welcome addition to the Airsoft Gas Blowback Pistol lineup. I really appreciate everybody for watching and sticking to the end if you have made it this far. Um, I really appreciate if you drop a like, comment, or subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.